Now, from KFDX3, Texoma's Weather Authority, with Chris Boone. Welcome back, Texoma. Partly cloudy skies to start off the morning. We'll see that increased cloud coverage as we go into the later morning and afternoon hours. So again, cloudy skies expected uh, with a little bit more of that increased cloud coverage and continuing into the evening hours as well. Temperatures a bit on the cooler side thanks to yesterday's cold front. That coupled with the winds out of the northeast going to keep those temperatures uh, running a little bit cooler than what we saw yesterday, about 10 to 15 degrees cooler. In fact, we'll see afternoon highs topping out into the 70s. So again, the drop from those 80s that we had seen earlier this week. Right now, just looking at the increased cloud coverage, no rain on the radar, but as we go in towards the afternoon hours, we'll really be watching into the southeastern parts of Texas, and some of that could creep in towards the far southeastern parts of Texoma. So we will see some increased rain chances as we go in towards the later parts for today, though still staying fairly isolated in nature. Temperatures into the upper 50s and low 60s, 60 degrees here in Wichita Falls, Warica also at 60, 59 in Lawton. So again, those temperatures Again, hovering right around 60 for most of Texoma, but really feeling the impacts of that cold front. Take a look at the last 24 hour temperature change. We're tar starting off 15 degrees cooler than this time yesterday in Wichita Falls. Very similar for Lawton. A little bit warmer back off towards the west where those temperatures uh, dropped earlier into the uh, yesterday morning and afternoon hours, but generally uh, most locations running a bit cooler to start off your Thursday. Winds out of the northeast right now, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Those could pick up with gusts up to 25 miles per hour as you continue into the afternoon hours. And that's when we'll start to see the chance for one or two of those isolated showers and thunderstorms really for the southeastern parts of Texoma, Bowie, Jacksboro, and Graham. You're the better uh, candidates for getting some of those isolated showers and thunderstorms uh, kind of creeping in from the south and southeast. So you'll be the first line of defense on seeing those showers and thunderstorms as you continue throughout the day. Again, the better rain chances stay into the eastern half where we see the better moisture content, though we will see that cloud coverage across parts of Texoma. The rain chances mostly staying into the south and eastern parts of Texoma. Again, most of this will just stay dry uh, with the increased cloud coverage and cooler temperatures. Again, the severe weather outlook again bullseye off towards the south and eastern parts, though we do see that marginal and the slight uh, categories for the far southeastern parts of Texoma as a two out of five with a three out of five on the, the severe weather outlook uh, further outside of our area off towards the south and east. That's where we really see the better chances for the severe weather, but we will have the chance for some large hail and gusty winds for the far southeastern parts of Texoma. 78 year afternoon high cooler temperatures with the 20% chance of that isolated shower and thunderstorms. And again, continuing into the evening and overnight hours, those rain chances will start to diminish mostly cloudy skies. We'll see the increase in the cloud coverage. The temperatures dropping back down into those mid 50s and overnight low 56 degrees. We will really start to see the better rain chances picking up as you go in towards the weekend late on Saturday into Sunday. In fact, Sunday could be a little bit more of a widespread showers and thunderstorms expected for the area. Again, as that system kind of pushes its way across the state of Texas and towards the eastern parts of Texas by Monday, we'll start to see those rain chances really starting to diminish and those temperatures will start to increase as well. Though we're not expected to get to 103, we do have our next 103 contest. Now you go to our website, texomashomepage.com, enter for your chance to win. All you got to do is pick the time and date that you expect us to hit to 103 degrees. And I'll give you a hint, we're probably not going to see it for the next week. Temperatures into the 70s through the rest of the week into the weekend, though we will see temperatures increasing into the 80s to start off next week.